The Camelback Zephyr Pro Vest is a vest designed for ultra distance races where you might have special gear requirements to carry, you know, maybe a jacket, a whistle, water, nutrition, those kind of things. It's designed to carry all of that for you comfortably and keep it at your ready. Well, how does it do in testing? Let's take a look. But of course, I do need to let you know that Camelback did send the Zephyr Pro Vest to me to review. I didn't pay for this. They're not going to see this footage ahead of time. I'm going to tell the honest truth, just like always. So I've had this Camelback Zephyr Pro Vest now for quite a while. I've taken on many runs up into the mountains here in Colorado. Uh, you know, carried quite a bit of stuff in it, probably more than it's designed to carry, uh, and it did just fine. I've actually really enjoyed this vest. It's quite comfortable. We'll get into all those specifics right now. So the Zephyr Pro Vest comes in a men's and women's sizes. The women's is custom fitted for a woman's body. It has an S curve of the shoulder harness, and it's designed to fit a woman's body. The men's vest, it fits me just fine, nice and secure and comfortable. One thing I really noticed in testing with this is it does not bounce around. I mean, you can see it on the video footage, uh, you know, it's just, it doesn't move. It stays secure and that really helps a lot. For me personally, I've had issues when vests bounce around or move, uh, cause chafing issues on my nipples, being totally honest with you. This one does not at all, it stays secure, no issues. Hey, before we get into the rest of the details, if you wouldn't mind, scroll down, click that thumbs up button. If you're learning about this vest, you're finding it helpful, I would really appreciate it. As for capacity of the Zephyr Pro Vest, it's 12 liters of total capacity and the cargo is 11 liters and that's for the men's and the women's vests. As for the weight of the Zephyr Pro, it's 240 grams or eight and a half ounces. Pretty good weight for a vest. It feels light. It does not feel heavy on your body whatsoever. And as far as the fit for the men's vest, it's uh, designed to fit a men's chest size of anywhere from 34 inches up to 44 inches. And the women's vest is 31 to 42 inches for the chest size. As for the vest materials, it is made of a 40D ultra ripstop material. Uh, very durable. I've been shoving GoPros in this thing and all sorts of stuff, uh, micro spikes, things like that. I've got no tears, no, no rips or uh, anything. It's held up very well. As for the inner portion of the vest, it is an engineered mesh and it breathes very well. Very comfortable here in the Colorado mountains, uh, you know, where we're higher altitude and closer to the sun. Uh, even on some of the warmer days where it's been up into the 50s, 60s, it's been fine. I've not had the opportunity to wear this in really hot weather yet but I anticipate it's gonna breathe very well. It is uh, very comfortable to wear. Other than the vest itself, it does come with two 17 ounce quick stow flasks. Uh, I, I kind of like these flasks. I like the top. You can actually close it so that there's no, ish, no chance of water, you know, or your hydration, whatever it is you're carrying, coming out if you accidentally hit that valve, it's not gonna squirt out, get you in the face or something like that. Uh, one thing though, so these are 17 ounce in capacity. However, I found when filling them, uh, I really couldn't get 17 ounces into them. I could probably get close to 450 milliliters and not 500 milliliters. Uh, however, they do fit in the vest very well. They stay inside. It even has a little strap to go over top to keep them secure. Uh, I've had no issues with these bouncing out of the vest while running, even bombing down hills. It's been totally fine. So the Zephyr Pro Vest, like I said at the start, is designed for those ultra marathon distance type races where maybe you'll need to carry a little bit of liquids, you know, two flasks, something like that. However, it can also hold a reservoir in the back. It can carry up to a one and a half liter reservoir is what Camelback says. However, I was able to fit the Camelback, uh, this is their Fusion two liter reservoir. I was able to fit this in the back myself. Uh, it's kind of hard to get the top in the back of the vest, but I was able to kind of finagle it and get it in and secure it. And the, the uh, strap routes over the shoulder really well. It, it's nice, it actually, the vest has these great compartments here to stick that uh, down behind and a really nice clip on the front to keep that hose secure, not flapping around. I have not run with a reservoir yet in this vest. I've only carried flasks. I've taken, I think three flasks is the most I've carried with this. Just take the third one and stick it in the back. No issues, uh, carries the hydration really well. And I think with the uh, Fusion reservoirs here, I think it'll be plenty comfortable to wear also. Around the back of the vest, you can see there is a pretty large stash compartment here. It does have some stretchy fabric to it. Uh, I have usually used this pocket to stick my uh, ice traction, my Catula Micro Spikes or Exo Spikes. I'll throw those down in there. I, it is totally reachable while running. I can stick my hand over the back and grab it, pull it out, which is very nice to be able to do that. You could also stash a jacket in there, pretty much anything. I've also uh, stuck a jacket down in this part here. This is a, a rear pass-through. It goes all the way through from side to side. You can stick your hand in. Uh, I've stuck a jacket in there. It doesn't totally fit inside, but it holds it perfectly secure. It's not gonna come out. And the last pocket in the back of the vest is the zipper one right here at the top. In the back closest to your body is where you would stick that hydration reservoir. You secure it with this little blue strap, route your hose through either shoulder, whichever one you wanna do. And then there's another compartment here as well. Uh, there are no zippers in this, but it is another compartment. I've stuck a first aid kit, 
wet wipes, my EpiPen down in there. Uh, I even stuck uh, an extra jacket when I was going up really high in the mountains. I stuck that back there uh, without issues and it's uh, quite comfortable to do so. Moving around to the front of the vest, you can see there are the two shoulder straps, the left and the right. And this pouch here at the top is where you're gonna stick those flasks. They go down inside pretty easily. You gotta force it just a little bit, but then you can take that piece over the top, keep it nice and secure. Above that, you can see there is a whistle as well, which is a lot of races do require you carry a whistle for safety reasons. Maybe you get lost, injured, something like that. Uh, but this comes with one, so you don't have to worry about getting an extra one to carry with you. And it's super lightweight, it's small. You can stick it through this little uh, webbing here and it keeps it nice and secure. Down below that is another stash pocket that you could use to store uh, gloves if your hands get cold. You could even fit a um, headlamp down inside of either one of these. They both have these same compartments on the left and the right. The two for the flask, the two stash pockets in the front. So you can put numerous things down in those. I've even stuck a GoPro down there once the flask is empty. When the flask has liquid in it, it doesn't really fit very well down in there. I have also put my phone in there without issues. Uh, it's fit just fine. And then right below, you can see the left and the right both have a zippered compartment. On the left, this is a water resistant pocket, so you can store a cell phone here. I have the iPhone 11 with an OtterBox case, and it's a pretty good size phone, and it fits in this pocket pretty well. You do kind of have to push it in just a little bit, but once you get it in, no issues, and you can get it out pretty easily to take your photos or whatever you want to do. On the right side of that zipper pocket, you open it up. Inside, there is also a little uh, compartment you could store. Maybe put your keys down in there potentially if you wanted to, or maybe some salt pills, something like that. I usually use this pocket to stick my gels in, and it fits quite a few gels in there, uh, and you could also put like a granola bar, whatever it is. It's a pretty good capacity. And then on the lowest part, right behind the Camelback logo of that right side of the shoulder strap, there is a compartment in the front that uh, it doesn't secure, like there's not a zipper or Velcro, but you could stick uh, you know, salt pills in there, a GoPro battery, uh, extra batteries for your headlamp, anything like that down in there. And once you have it on, it really, it feels pretty secure, like nothing is gonna fall out of that pocket. But probably one of the coolest things of this vest, and honestly, when I first got it, I didn't even know it had it, uh, is this feature in the back here. You can't even tell. In the back, it looks just normal. But hidden inside here is a quiver that you can store your trekking poles in. It's really pretty ingenious. So there's a little pocket down here. It has a little snap. Open it up. You pull this out and it unwinds. There's your little quiver. It has two little snaps on the back of it right here. And they go over the top of the shoulder here. They can snap right to this and then your pull string cord can go through the shoulder strap right here and, and snap so you can get easy access to loosen or tighten to get your poles out. And then once you have it, you stick your poles down inside there really pretty easily. While running, uh, it's easy to reach back there and grab them and pull them out. It's not difficult. You don't have to take your vest off to get to them. It's very, uh, really a smart, awesome feature that this vest has and that's probably my favorite feature of this vest. I will say too, at the bottom of the little quiver, there are three little holes that can drain water. So if you get snow on your poles and you stick them down there as it melts, it can drip out. And it's just really awesome. And if you don't want it, you don't need it. You can unsnap these at the bottom and you can take the quiver off completely. As for adjusting the vest to get it to fit your body the way you need it, there are two sternum straps, an upper one and a lower one. And these are both adjustable on both sides of the vest. So on the left strap and the right, these pieces can come out and then be moved up and down and secured. And then this is also adjustable. You can tighten it, loosen it, has a little bit of flex to it on the bottom one here. Uh, and it's, I've been able to get it very secure. My chest is, you know, I'm not a weightlifter, I'm a runner. <laughs> My chest is fairly small. It's like a 38 inch chest. And I've been able to get this very secure. Like I said, it does not bounce. On the sides, there are also two straps on each that you can adjust. You can adjust the top or the bottom, really get that fit really nice for your body. Uh, honestly, this is one of the better fitting vests that I have had and uh, it's quite comfortable. As for sustainability of the Camelback vest, that's a big goal of Camelbacks by 2025 to have all their products sustainably made. So Camelback has four different levels of their repurposed badge. They have the green, silver, gold, and platinum, and that depends on how many of those technology badges they have. So this is a silver badge, it has two technologies. Basically it's made with safer chemicals and then it's made from recycled materials. So again, just showing Camelback's commitment to uh, sustainability, which is pretty cool. So the price of the Camelback Zephyr vest will retail for 160 US dollars. Right now it's not available on Camelback's website. Uh, this is available spring 2023. Uh, however, I did some uh, Googling. I did, it shows up on Running Warehouse's site. I don't know if it's available for pre-order or, or ordering right now. 
But through Camelback, it's not on their website yet. It will be soon. 2023 spring is that time. So here in the next month or so, probably. So if you're someone that runs 50K ultra marathons, 50 mile, 100 milers, whatever it is, you have you know a race coming up where you need to carry some water. You don't like carrying handhelds. I hate handhelds personally. <laughs> and you wanna have your hands free. The Zephyr Pro Vest is a fantastic option. Uh, so far, it's my favorite vest from Camelback. It's very comfortable. It just doesn't bounce. It stays still. You honestly kind of forget that you're wearing it, which is what you want from a hydration vest. It has plenty of capacity to store all the things you need. Like I said, I have used this with three flasks. So that's two in the front, one in the back. In the back, I had the uh, Ultimate Direction Ventro jacket, which is fairly good size, stuffed in there as well. I had the Catula Micro Spikes in there another pair of gloves, my first aid kit, the EpiPen, uh, space blanket, uh, a lot of stuff. And it was pretty big, but it fit and it worked and still it was really pretty comfortable. Well, thank you all so much. I hope this was helpful. If so, please don't forget to give the video a like, give it a thumbs up. That does help out tremendously. I would really appreciate it. And maybe if you're new, consider clicking that subscribe button. You'll see more videos like this in the future. Well, since you're watching this video, I assume you're looking for a hydration vest. If you want to compare the Zephyr Pro to another vest uh, of similar capacities, the Solomon Sense Pro 5 vest is on the screen over here. Take a look at that full review. And then on this side, I'll put a playlist of other gear reviews with lots of other hydration vests as well. Thank you so much to Camelback for sending the vests and the other products as well. Thank you all for watching the video. I'll see you on the next one.